When a man a grown attacks so of the female them wicked, the female them no wicked, you know wicked to no self. Can I watch this now? We don't take up some top girl we live some top life and we cannot afford the top life. So we don't expect to get born, we don't feel so because of uh, uno. The girl them are going to make uno no make them live them top life. The girl them are going to go no born to live them top life. So I uno wicked to no self. Can I want top girl and we can't afford top girl. We don't stay on our bracket. If we can't afford a little country girl. We're not too expensive. We're not going to take up a country girl. But we're not going to take up an uptown girl. We're not going to have uptown money now in the pocket. I rest we're not going to get born with some uptown nigga. We have the uptown money for the girl them. Sometimes we're going to be sickle. If we want to manage. And take up the girl them. And turn them in a way. We don't want them. We don't want a girl in a nails, eyelash, this and that. It costs up living. Nails is very expensive to do. And the eyelash is very expensive to do. To install wig expensive. So if you can't afford the girl them, leave them alone. And tap so the girl them wicked. And tap so the girl them style. You know? And to all of the viewers them out there, realistically, thinking about what she is saying, she is not wrong. Sometimes we as men, we take up some women far out our league, far out our paycheck league. Because we see the women them in a them lace wig, them in a them makeup, them in a them dress, but them buy your machine, we kind of cheap. <laughs> <laughs> and also them then are them lashes and all type of things people and we not talk about food we not talk about light bill we not talk about rent we not talk about nothing yet you know just the damn image of the woman expensive and plus them like we go to a nice restaurant Oh yeah, go manage that with your paycheck, but you run gun take up woman. And then when the woman left you for one next man will have more money than you. You say the woman never real, like you never see say at them the type of lifestyle that you go take up on yourself. <laughs> Anyway, what is up? What go on dance out with family or beach and every one of you is having a blessed and productive day. And people, as usual, do remember to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and what we are weird fun, make we keep the video off like this. Now, people, let me see all of the Gaza fans in the comment section right now. Type free world boss with all of the die hearted Gaza fans out there. Incarcerated dance out superstar vibes card sell preview counts date set at April 2024. Now, people, this is what his lawyers had to say. There has been a provisional date setting for April of next year 16, 17, and 18 for two and a half days of the appeal of Sean Campbell and Adija Palmer and two other appellants in the Privy Council. This date is not permanent. It may be changed, but we are happy to know that finally this matter will be heard by the highest court, the Privy Council. So it's uh, April 16th, 17th, and 18th, 2024, next year. We hope that the appeal will be heard and we will be victorious now people i know that we are no legal experts and we have no expertise in law but people what are your gut feeling about vibes cartel case well privy council case you feel like so the world boss are gonna bust the case and come free or you feel like so them are gonna keep him incarcerated people let me know what i go under the comment section speaking about vibes cartel though take a look at this video you tell me them book cartel really what <laughs> atlanta we join the guy Atlanta. And when we join the guy Atlanta, you know, big stage show, you know, Jagger B and we and uh, me, me and Cartel. And anyway, we run out there and I come to the bar, mash up the place and shh. Because me was a woman, I can mash up the place and bag of things, you know. Vibes Cartel comes on, boom, and go up on the show and I go and go down, go DJ one show and take money, girl. Easy. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. And, so same time, one girl <laughs> jump up on the stage now okay. and start back up on him. And the teacher comes over and push off the girl. I say we had and when he push off the girl, I see the whole crowd comes up. <sighs> Not knowing say, that girl is the girl in Atlanta. Oh, she popular. Where everybody loves. And bring them in. And they push her off a stage. They not push her off a stage, man. They push her away. Oh, yeah, because okay. no man wanna no, woman just come wind up on them. You know, because I never know them things. I tell her like the DJ never you know, and same time, I'm booing up, man, I'm booing up, and I tell her, I say, John, I'm a car teacher is a very emotional person, you know, very emotional in terms of people. You're right beside him, him emotional. You understand me? So, I said, teardrop start coming on, and I said, John, I'm starting. Jagger B, I said, wow, come on, pan stay at the same time. I said, yeah, yeah, hold on, man. I DJ this, you know. I can't be able to say, and I said, DJ, come in, man. And DJ I said, DJ, I said, still, you know, I'm not telling the people, I apologize, you know, but you see me, 
Nagon DJ, no, 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 now people check this out, this video has been circulating on social media of Donna Lee Donaldson speaking about everything that happened between she and Noel Maitland and people know you have a question that but it's actually an AI video artificial intelligence somebody recreate the video with a app and people the video kind of look realistic so it's been circulating on social media people take a look at this My name is Donna Lee Donaldson I was 24 years old when I went missing on July 11th 2022 in Kingston, Jamaica it was the day after my birthday. With my little black bag clutched tightly in my arms, my mother last saw me when I went into my boyfriend, Noel's BMW. He is a Jamaican police officer who I had been with for three years. I told her that I would be back the next day. I couldn't even imagine what was waiting on me there. We got to his apartment and spent time together as we always did, but something sinister was brewing. At times, his baby mother would come to his place when I was there to fight me, how does she know? At 8 a.m. the next day, I called my mother. I told her to feed my dog, China, and that I will be home soon to walk her myself. Little did I know those were the final words that she would hear from me. My brother from Cleveland called at around 4 p.m. and we spoke briefly. He called my mother after and told her to call me to take her to the hospital. I didn't pick up that call. When I didn't return home, my mother was worried. Something truly sinister had happened to me. As the night dragged on, she became overwhelmed with fear because my phone was now off. Noel called my mother around 11.30 p.m. He told her that I had left with a friend. That was a lie. My mother caught him in many more lies surrounding my disappearance. He spoke about a phone call that I had with my father to pick up birthday money from MoneyGram. The thing is, that phone call happened at 1 p.m., long after he claimed that I had left his house. I didn't get the chance to enjoy my earth strong properly or even collect the money my father sent. My life was robbed, and now I watch in silence. Please, don't forget me. To the policeman that gave me my first ticket yesterday unnecessarily, I hope your week, your month, the rest of the year, as a matter of fact, the rest of your life, you look like you're around 50 odd. I hope that your time on this earth is as shitty as how you made my day yesterday. I hope you go home and find your neighbor, fuck your wife. I hope when you forget pay a month in the ministry, pay you late and the food in the day in your house. I hope when you finally get pay, whoever you bank with, somebody hack your account and take out half and go up on a sheen shopping spree. I hope, my hope, the next person you stop is doing 180 and them just run over your foot. Me wish everything that is bad for you. Me not ask you. You didn't even give me a name. You never even give me a name. You just stop me, take my license, and I write me the ticket, right? You know, tell me, you didn't even tell me why you give me a ticket, you know? You didn't even tell me why you give me the ticket. But your name is on the ticket. Thank God. Thank which, thank God. Say, me no know no obey man, because I'm sure as hell go put your name on a piece of parchment paper. I'm not sure as hell go put your name on a piece of parchment paper. And then people wonder why I don't like police. Me no want no one to see me on road and look me. Me no want no one to see me on road and look me because I don't like you know. I don't like you know. And for the police, they are on TikTok where they see the video and they going to tell me, say, oh, make sure so when you're doing problems, you don't call me. I didn't plan to. I didn't plan to because y'all are not very helpful either ways. I did not plan to. So, with that said, I hope everyone except the policeman who gave me my first ticket yesterday have a great day. Everybody except him can have a great day. No oh, people, definitely I would not want to be the police officer that gave this female her first ticket. Jaja, the woman wish everything bad for the police officer. The woman says she wouldn't mind him going yard and finding neighbor her bang out him wife belly. <laughs> <laughs> judge of God hell people me feel like said so that woman we got obia man for the money you know? <laughs> squaddy watch yourself any of people I'm going to leave you with this one from Queen Africa the angel Razor B and Mr. Vegas and people you know them are talk about only fans speaking about only fans and Queen Africa did that you know say I'll be a fire job <laughs> people take a look at this video in the case of Razor B and angel when me I say uh -huh. this in the case of e angel no me love her and she can't that's all, Mr. Friend. I have a number of them things. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. You know, 
in a private, say me love you in a private. We don't have no issue in a private. Yes, you know, no, it's, so, it's yet all. No, it's yet all. have never yes. have not yet and will never no, have not at all. So, Mr. My oh, yeah. passion is older because of how long me start with this. You understand what I say? No, but I'm free for you. Me not say none of you guys have ever and will never continue to do it. When me say wrong and strong to you, babes, remember now we know. We know how your career start. Remember the first thing every time I see an angel, the first thing I always say to you is I wish me love music like how you love it. Because if me don't know nothing else about you, me sure know say you love music. You understand yes, what I mean? Yes. You always come me for that. Yes. yes. I'm always see you as a girl where you always do the uptown girl living a downtown girl living an uptown life. You always try to encouraging songs. You always you go that yes. road. Me can give you the credit. So you went that road first. The road yes. that where you're there now, I force them, force you down the road there. You're not down the road there by the angel when we know of free. I see them road me down. I just see them give them no, something no, no. to talk about. I see them no more. See them eat them. Why I say so? And I see him stronger. Not, me yeah. not judge you by your reputation. Me judge you by the character when me see you out. See? Mm. So, me not, when, me, when me say, all right, only fans, it's a public thing, right? But every fan is the reputation, see? yeah. See? So, when me I say no, the thing mm. when you only mm. fans, see? Mm -hmm. You're a big woman. You have the right to do what you do because you see fit mm -hmm. it. The wrong and strong with me now is when little girls, them vulnerable. So my thing is, when me mm. papa, if if Angel I go say is, me the pan one fans up me no want all of my little young twenty year old fans them to think so they can come come and only fans to and feel like because them see them artists Angel I do it or something. Me I talk about one you know mean to say you have to do it for everybody and raise everybody people because guess what? Yeah. It comes back to why we have this kind of issue where we have in a Jamaica where rape um the, the domestic abuse all of these things is so high but but but, as a, but, but, as a, but this has not, the only part has nothing to be wrong and strong no, so no, that's no. why i said i am I'm wrong. talking about what you do and then how advocacy come into it so may i say are you aware that i'm the humanitarian of the year yes because please. i represent different things yes, i'm yes. more self positive queen listen do what i do what, what i do for and listen, I spoke about it already. I am an adult. I can make adult decisions. Yeah, but so whatever I want to do, I can do that. You don't want but to do anything to be You know, I'm telling you, anything but you bring it to Queen Africa. Who empower women empowerment more than me? Who tell who, who advocate against a crime and violence against our youth more than me? All right. Let I'm me just ask you something. Let me I didn't take a be join me as a man, we are do it. So I'm right. to do it my career choice. Let, I'm let still the angel. I'm still who I am. Let me ask you something, babe. See? We are talking about how we, as public figures, <coughs> can lend our voice to when we call with fans. Who, but that we are doing that we are raising right. that so we listen, are doing. So listen, me and Senator Babes, you see uh -huh. the same people where we call with fans, they uh -huh. are influenced by everything we do more than politicians, more than church, more than I anything agree. else. People I agree. are influenced by us in mm -hmm. whatever genre, in whatever field. They follow. Mm -hmm. If the angel put her ear in a in a goal, they might go want to put them here in a goal. If the angel come out and say she will pick a man, they might go want to pick a man. So when we are say is we have to know understanding say we have creative rights and a, that's why they bring in Razor B, you know. I saw me a Razor B because Razor B called one of my sisters for an interview. And I, I end up on the phone with him. I mean, I look on Razor B. I mean, I say, you is a man where always I sing them little provoking girls song. They were questionable, some of them. But at the same One second. time, them still dance stable. Them still have a vibe about them. And people still are rock to them. But at the end of the day, there are kids who are influenced directly by some of what these songs are saying. So me, I say no. When we are do that freely in our songs, them. And then we are come do advocacy now too. We can mix up everything so that them know say a razor be do the song where I say come suck my body with the ice cream and an angel. No, no, we don't want to hear that. No, queen, no, queen. Oh, queen. No, queen. 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 Queen.
we have to can accept the truth in ourselves first before we can even talk to no one about it. You know. Any truth we're not gonna bring up about me, you know. I'm not gonna afraid to accept it you know, because it's not about me, you know. And, yeah. and, and, and as I said again, the day when we have the conversation with you, that is what I said. Yeah. I said, I said, Reza, you are known for the type of music that you do. Imagine if you tell a little girl and run a back road, say, round the sun is the only place where them belong, as Reza be. Just no. imagine the difference where you are going to place in a feed them head from your platform as a man. No, no, but that, but, no, but the no, step but that we're not. taking has nothing to do with our music or what we sing. Because I'm not. a dancer and reggae artist. And me never, I've never, I've never condoned no violence or no negative energy. If I've been, I talk about this platform that I'm on because at the end of the day, a COVID Queen Africa, and I mean, it's a single mother, so I have to make it, I have to figure out a way to survive. But at the end of the day, I'm still that positive light at the end of the tunnel that women can have hope, children can have hope because I have a son that is 16 years old. So that's nothing to do with Mr. Pick the Man because I'm understanding the narrative no, of it. Because this music is an ex example as to it's how it's music it's it's you want to understand, you know, understand the meaning of that song. It's telling women not to do any tree song, boy. Yeah. You I understand the message? This. I know, you know, but we're saying, you know, what if we're not, none of us is disagreeing on anything here, you know. We maybe have different views, points of how we're looking at it, you know, but there's no disagreement, you know, because Queen Africa over here, so with a turban from the head down, Mark. Reza, if you're there, join the live because I am still confused because, I mean, if you're trying to do something to help the nation, it doesn't matter what kind of why. It doesn't matter what. I'm still not sing no derogatory music. It doesn't matter if the artist sing about gun crime. Um, we call the word them shatter, um, scam me. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what the artist sing about. At the end of the day, once you lend your voice, because you have all kind of people that we can change the world. Because once you lend your voice, it doesn't matter. If I, if what kind of music you sing, me don't want nobody to judge me. You understand what I'm saying? Nobody's not God. Me not, I end the day, me not, me not, me not in, impose crime and violence on anybody. So I don't want to, I don't want to be judged because at the end of the day, I am, I am Queen Africa is back, Razor B is back. Razor B, where you there? Razor B, yeah. Yeah, babes. I wouldn't be caught. I wouldn't be judging if I'm asking everyone to be come on board. Mama, Mama, me here is enough time. Enough time here. The dem is a liar. Where the black child? Yeah, man. You don't want this to happen, man. This is the black child. This unity, them like man. Power, the Almighty. You know that we are talking about in a in my case, in my defense, it cannot be judged if I'm asking for all of us, regardless of what we do, to have a sense of responsibility towards the people who, who not have no Because what about Africa? When you check me, I'm a very responsible mother. It has nothing to do with if a, a police don't go home, go shoot up your house. A doctor don't go home, go operate from patients. So I, I, I'm, a, I'm a woman that leads by example. So no matter what we do, it has nothing to do with what you, who you are as a human. Who am I? I'm as a and human. I am not so agreeing with yeah. you. I am talking. I'm not talking to you personally, in a babes. We are all right. You see, when I think we want, we want everybody you. come. We want the artists. Then we sing every kind of music. We come. I'm begging so that. I'm begging. I them. do it. Look here. You know I'm a respect your razor because you not only went out into the streets. But you started an online thing as well. See? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten away. Make it a point of a duty every day to learn a little bit more than where we want to the people is enough. Because we are really and truly who influence them for true, no matter what go on in our personal life, them are look to we. That we are begging to sure them we are to be a car load for everybody, and we are so happy that you are on the same page as us because, um, we, and you cleared up the wrong and strong argument. Because, in a matter who, as an artist, your music is what matters, and we never sing no music. We tell the body if you go do nothing wrong in them like, no, yet. where we are, saying that is we need we need to tell come together, make less real legislations as artists. We can do five pine plans. We can bring it to any one of them sitting in a parliament that we can hand it to them from the musician's point of view. Us as artists, 
you say we should talk about the solutions that would that that is why I, what i saw when i when i clicked on it just yeah, yeah. right we can yeah, come together we can make suggestions is what they call it i personally have brought many different five 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 point plans to parliament but if you don't have a reinforcement of it like a follow-up so in other words then we as artists come together form a union in the music business a union that is not run by bobs them are overseen by them but something where we pick who in the industry where all of we can come to a consensus and trust and say this is the person we are going to represent for the artist union and the artist union are responsible for seeing to it that the government then were in at the farm and Bobsy Grains were responsible for entertainment and women and women gen women um women affairs and, and gender affairs we bring these five point plans to them make them st still um present them in a parliament if we see time pass and we not see we are here about the feedback as to if any if any um suggestions was made in parliament then we when, then we go back again to them and say you know what i mean what about if we want to start, if we want to use Danali as an example, we, 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 we start the Danali um, Foundation, a group of us as artists coming together, starting a foundation like that, using it as the as the board. Not only, not only Danali, um, um, yes, well, we Danali, but we can use yeah, go ahead. her as the most recent. We have the slash short. I mean, there's so much of them, but we can use. Look at girl, I'm very as the most. Me have, me have, me have, me have a question. Me say, oh, we as a voice for the music and a voice for the public and a voice for our fans are so quiet in a time like that this where Jamaica that me the most that and you know what is that no this is where me now become the big finger one where sound like a me want to see everything i want to do everything it's not that what me i say is all the powers that all that we get we get it from the people the people are look for we that is why them applaud um, Angel, when she turn on her live at five, them applaud, raise her when he must say, just girl, he must call to come broke out and Ray Ray, he say, what is happening to the girls? What is happening to the boys? Exactly. What exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, so this, this exactly. is what we are saying now. Collectively, collectively, if all of we understand the end game of what it means to stand for the people, directly with, comes what may. Because that is the thing. A lot of these artists can do it. But they are busy pleasing either sponsors or people who don't necessarily because what you guys must really accept and know you know a lot of these sponsors that say they love people and love and their products are for people the, if we bring a five point plan to them right now and tell them the plans that we have to help with missing girls and and human trafficking in jamaica they are mm -hmm. going to shy away from it mm -hmm. so this yeah. It's a difficulty why so a lot of people who you can say it, but it needs a collective in order for it to be the reality that would make sense. It needs because, a... because what I'm saying, what I'm saying, I understand that, but it, it still it still boils down with us as artists because we are the voice of the people. We it doesn't are matter what you sing, or if you go sing one reggae song today and tomorrow you go sing one sexy song and whatever you want to do it. That's not that's fine because you have different market, different audience for that. But when you come down, stand up and say, listen to me. You not you do just like a movie. When you're acting on a movie, you don't go and go to the same thing. So we we as we as boys we make sure so if we come out and stand together, cause everybody fans have different fans. Everybody has them fans, you know, we sing different kind of music. And we come out and say, All right then, from me, this is what I want for the country. And everybody on the same unity. We don't want no more crime and violence against our women and children. We don't want no more mis we don't want no more rape. We don't want no more violence against our youth. Crime in schools is a big, big thing, and we're advocating against that. One hundred percent. My son is just sixteen. Never reached college yet. Not. My son is a big man. Yeah. So regardless of what is going on, if we all, as we say, as we mean, raise that, raise that, raise that, be being a lobby against. If you, we come together as one, it will make a big difference. Yeah, man, I, 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 trust me. Hands yeah. up. I'm a, on board. Missy, you see me? Police. I'm yeah. You know, see, in the latest thing, you see, police. A rape of sixteen year old. I have priest. A rape of twelve year old. 52 year old man, a rape of six year old. Let and you know, nobody will come out and, a, and, a, and a, it burns the head. Again, it's, it's, a, it's a society. All right, you see, sex sex was one of the biggest weapons that was used on the slave plantation. That's not the first thing. So that is a legacy, what, what that we inherit. We inherit the exploitation of sex as a, as a thing here, in, especially here in Jamaica. And that is why it doesn't matter. Can you imagine that we live in a country where as much as we are here now on this space here, 
speaking up for all those rapes that are happening. There are children in Jamaica that live here, born here, that don't know that that's happening in Jamaica because they are not exposed to it at all. There are parents yeah. here that protect their children from that and see the children that we protect as just them. So Nobody. If, mm -hmm. Right. So if we know what they are afraid of, you know, is the unity in music. You see, when the music is united, these corporate bodies, they love to drink some rum and sell some sex because it boosts their products. If you look at all the products that are on the market, it's about producing and boosting sex. So you look at these pervert men in those 50 year old men and those Kenyan men. We shouldn't have a government on any side, whether PNP, we are going to come in, or labor right, we are going to leave, that allows foreigners to come in here and set up shop with, to deal with children and do not go through any form of vetting no, they, they, somebody does know somebody look on